ADSL or other kind of broadband, ISDN is definitely the low level connectivity that you can afford yourself. If you are having POTS or plain old telephone service, try to avoid it. You can hear it, but you will not be able to transmit video and there will be a lot of interruptions. Also, a wireless is not reliable because they can switch it off anytime, like someone did uh, here a couple of uh, minutes ago. A uh, computer connected to the internet with headphones and microphones. So, so you basically do not need uh, expensive equipment. If you have a webcam that costs uh, a, dozen, a dozen of dollars or euros, that will do just fine. And a live meeting or a browser client installed. If you want to project in an environment like this, for example, that was the case when three schools were connected in Slavonia, uh, they had to have the projector and loudspeaker system in those respective locations, so everyone can see and hear the presenters from other locations. User interface overview, I'm now switching back to this particular uh, live meeting client interface. You can see that you can upload content up there in the upper left corner, see the number of attendees connecting cards, we have only one at this live meeting. You can uh, connect the audio and video equipment if needed. You can ask uh, questions to the presenters uh, and they're usually answered at the end of the presentation unless you agree to do it differently. Uh, you can also record meeting either on server so the others can download it or on your own computer and then share it uh, some other way, for example, on your uh, local teacher's network. Also, uh, currently I'm on a wireless. You can see that it is not a reliable connection, so I do not have audio. I can easily manu manipulate my loudspeakers, uh, my microphone and my webcam. And also I can gather feedback from others. For example, if uh, they change the color associated to their uh, particular ID, we can see whether they have technical problems and technical assistant can help them uh, collect that information. Uh, we can easily browse uh, through slides with those arrows in the lower left corner and what's good is that you can use those tools here to emphasize something during the presentation if you find it necessary. It can all be recorded. Okay, let me go back and go through the tips and tricks. My suggestion is to keep the roles separated, so do not put additional burden to the teacher who is presenting have different person to start and end up. For example, when the Ombudsman for Children was giving the presentation about her role, Jelka was the moderator, so she started and ended uh, the live meeting, while the Ombudsman herself was focused merely on the content of her presentation, and also have the third person to be the technical assistant, so in case some of the attendees have problems with the loudspeakers, microphone and connectivity, he or she can assist them without interrupting the presenter, so the whole process of technical assistance is going in the background. Organize events at times that are most convenient to your audience, not you. We were surprised to realize that teachers in Croatia prefer to attend live meeting webinars from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's, that's learning from uh, our own experience. Uh, expect more reviews and downloads than actual participants. Our statistics show that more teachers download the recordings than actually attend. That's probably because uh, the time frame of a particular live meeting does not suit their working schedule, but they can go to the portal later and download and review it. The only functionality they uh, have lost is basically that of asking Q&A. Also, have few questions prepared in advance, at least in a culture that uh, does not uh, like asking questions like ours. Okay, lesson learned. It will work well on XP, Vista, and Windows 7. Uh, as far as connectivity is concerned, you can see the recommendations. If uh, they want to uh, see it from home, let them expect 50 megas per hour as far as uh, the download size is concerned. 
and let me go to the last slide. Try to avoid Wi-Fi and wireless uh, microphones. There may be a lot of electrical noise involved, which can increase the quality of audio. Uh, if you have a connection of not sufficient bandwidth available, try to avoid video. You can uh, turn it on at the very beginning of the presentation, just to show the face of the presenter, then shut it off. Uh, when sharing desktops or downloading multimedia, uh, expect a delay because it may take some time for the content to download on remote computers as far as attendees are concerned. Uh, do arrive in the meeting lobby of the presentation at least 15 to 20 minutes in advance to check all the presentations and keep copies of live media recordings on your ITM because on the server they will be automatically deleted after.